Can you even spend time online without losing your grip on reality? A lot of our time is spent on the For You page. It's not great because we can't scrutinize everything for AI, it's exhausting. So to help us out, let's divide our content by trust. The For You feed, or Shorts feed, is where the biggest change needs to happen. Here, assume that nothing is real anymore. It's a huge bummer. You can scroll for vibes, but don't let the For You page form your views on real life. If you find something you really like, you should follow the page, and you need to decide if you can trust them. Figure out if they are an engager or a creator. For example, meme or rage bait or slop accounts, basically anyone who's just playing the algorithm to get influence or money. Those are the accounts that I call engagers. They aren't just AI creators, by the way, but they are more likely to use it. Creators, like artists or musicians, teachers, and a lot of influencers rely on authenticity for engagement, so they're a bit less likely to use AI, or at least they should be honest about it. So vet creators. I vet them all the time. That's my thing. And when I do it, I don't just look at one photo or one tweet or a single video because AI can get lucky. So you need to vet at least a few posts throughout their history to decide if you can trust them. And then there are news outlets or anywhere that's providing you critical information. Here you need a ton of trust, so only follow outlets that publicly verify their sources. They have dealt with very sophisticated fakes for a long time. They're going to be okay. I won't make recommendations, just don't follow outlets that report AI stuff like it's real, and you don't have to love their opinion pieces. When you think about it that way, it's clear the best thing to do is to be online less, but the second best thing to do is to switch from the For You page to the follower or subscriber pages. All of the platforms have these. They just don't want you to be there because it's healthier and less profitable for them. Take it easy on yourself, though. That's the main thing I have to say. Like, individual actions can only do so much. We really need regulation or platform-wide changes to really address these problems. So in the meantime, put your phone down more often, and when you pick it up, just be mindful.